What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great week. All right, guys, we're going to go to a Mars photo. This time, we're going back to the opportunity, and we're going to check this one out. This one's pretty cool. So if you go here, and you can see right here, opportunities eastward view after Sol 2382 drive. Now, I caught this one on here first up on CNET, and as you can see right here, I took this photo first, and you'll see that in my Photoshop because you go still see the two arrows. Now, I've taken this one first, and then, of course, I searched for the NASA uh, one, which is, again, right here. And you can see right here, it says, Lonesome View. Opportunity looked out over an expansive and desolate landscape in this 2010 mosaic showing the rover's view of Mars. The bedrock is lighter while the sand is darker. Uh, look closely, and you can see ripples in the sand created by the wind. Uh, I see a lot more than just uh, ripples and uh, sand, if you will, uh, and we're going to get right into that. This one here says... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just enlarge a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better on your screen. This mosaic of images from the navigation camera on a NASA's Mars Exploration Rover opportunity shows a 90-degree view centered toward the east following a 93.3 meter or 306-foot drive east-northeastward during the 2,382 or 2,382 second Martian day or sol of Opportunity's mission on Mars, October 6, 2010. And the camera took the component images for this mosaic on Sol 2382 after the drive. The terrain includes light-toned bedrock and darker ripples of wind-blown sand. On the following Sol, Opportunity drove an additional 94.3 meters, or 309 feet, towards its long-term destination, the rim of Endeavor Crater. And you can see it way, way back, and you can just see them right there. I don't think it's quite that far away, but regardless... Uh, portions of the rim, still more than 8 kilometers, 5 miles away, are visible in the horizon in this scene. This view is presented as a cylindrical projection. Okay, and of course, image credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech. Now, Caltech is anybody, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Caltech is the one that made basically the cameras as well as other components on these rovers, right? So it's not something you can run into the store and buy. These cameras are specifically built for uh, these rovers, right? All right, so again, we've got this photo here. We can just click on it, and you can see it right here. Uh, pretty cool, and you can see the both of the antennas. You got the both the uh, they call it the UVHF omnidirectional, and of course you've got the I believe this is the X band uh, highly directional, and it looks like a basically a plate. It's like you don't see it right now, but it's you're seeing this here. The front is right here. It looks like like a pan or pizza pan. It's just like a, a disc type thing, and they can po point in any direction to either point directly at Earth and send messages. Or they use the uh, VHF antenna to uh, uplink to the actual orbiters, right? All right. We can zoom in. Now, funny enough, guys, we can zoom into this. I'm going to show you this right here. Now, I see shapes in here. Right off the bat, I can tell you that there is stuff standing up in this photo, and it is not a flat ground. And I'm going to show you this in both photos. Uh, this one here just happens to be a little bit clearer, okay? Still the same photo. It doesn't matter. But let me go back down to... 100% and then I'm going to show you this one here it is the same photo right here so what I do is I actually just you know right click that and snag the photo right um, this one if you look down at the antennas right here you can see like these oval designs in the antenna see it and then of course you look at the NASA one it's a little bit clearer of course it is more zoomed in right um, so I use both of them to try to drag out whatever's in the photo right Funny enough, what you're going to see is all of these so-called rocks. Again, once you take out the shadows or the darkness of any part of a photo, you take out the depth. So once you add this back in, you start to see the depth, whether it's stuff that's like it looks like it's more farther away or stuff standing on the actual uh, uh, horizon or closer to you, the camera itself, whatever it may be. All right, so let's get into that. So this one here is from CNET, and you can see I got the two arrows here, which is just perfectly fine. Um, and again, I had to zoom this in because, look at this, this is crazy. All right, this is at 100% uh, right here, which is fine. It looks okay, right? Until you start to zoom it in, because again, I want to show you that area where I showed you right here. Let me go back a little bit. Um, let's see. Should be right here. Right in the back here, there's actually parts there. Okay? There's actually things sticking out in the background here. Okay? All right. We're going to just back way out. 
and we're going to jump into this a lot bigger and you can see this much better um again we got this weird looking area right here and i already started to enhance it a little bit right here you've got what looks like these weird objects seeing an area right here but you don't see it too much right now but let me show you guys something that's pretty wild when you look at the back of this photo I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to zoom in just a hair bit. This, in other words, I want to show you this without doing any modifications to this photo. Uh, sometimes I get blamed for that. Oh, well, you added it, so therefore that's why it's there. No, no, no. If you look at this photo, you can see this piece is going like this, okay? But then it starts to go up like this and goes across, okay? And if you keep going with it, you can see this thing still continues on. From this point, it keeps going across. It's not very straight, but that's okay. And you can see what looks like this white piece going down just a little bit and just a little bit. A lot of this is nothing but obfuscation, guys. But you can see it continues on pretty much across the screen. Now, I'm not going to make that very straight, but regardless, there it is, right? So I started to try to burn this to see what I can find. I found this other object, and I'm not sure what to make of this right there. I'm going to make this just a little thicker on the line here, and it may be a little too thick on the other photos, but that's okay. And you can see this right here. I found this right here. And it looked like some kind of weird capsule type thing. You see that? It's kind of like this. Going like this and then comes down. Comes down like this. Has this piece protruding out of it. Now this could be nothing more than tricks of light. And I get that and I'd be okay with that, right? So, did that. But let me show you something real quick on the other photo. The NASA photo. Now, this is what it looked like before I... Uh, tried to start to enhance it. Now, again, we're at 67%. Let's go to 100. Okay. Now, as soon as we start to zoom in, what does it do? It degrades badly. This is the reason why we, we make the photo much larger for you guys. And then what I did was like an equalization. And this is what you see. You get this weird uh, brightness area. But this is basically, believe it or not, this photo just happened to be, because you can see right here, you can see where it's actually been stitched, right? At the very top. See that? You can see where that's been actually just three photos here. Uh, may actually be more than that because you can see a whole lot more of them here. See that? All of these right here at the top. All of these little pictures. So these are all stitched together, right? Okay. So what I did was I started to go into this photo. And this is what I ended up with. I started to see things that look like they were stacked up. So I did this one first to see if there's anything of any value in here. And like I said, I started to see this in the background right here, okay? And I started to see that what looked like that wall feature, right? And you can see like these little areas here where it goes like this here, okay? All right, so let's back out of that. And then let's go into here because what I want you guys to do is uh, take your magnifiers. I want you to look at these objects right here that look like flat rock, right? Um, Look at it carefully with your magnifiers. I'm just going to back out just a little bit. Just look at them carefully. Remember the opportunity video that I did that I broke down the video that they had of the opportunity traveling and traversing uh, on the Martian surface. And we stopped it at certain spots and we can see the manipulation and everything else. And what looked like either miniature structures or uh, parts laying around. One of the two. And the same thing applies with this here. That making it look like it's simple rocks, taking out all of the contrast meaning the dark areas to make them look like it's just flat like a flat rock right that's not the case when you start to look at these things you can see details I and mean, they have these rectangular openings they have all kinds of weird looking things in them um and this is just by bringing the contrast the darker areas back into the photo right okay let me jump back into this here all right so then i started to equalize the photo and what i found was again these different parts like here's a good example I don't know if you guys can see this clearly or not, but right here, we've got this area right here. Now, again, when you look at these little objects, and I want to zoom out so you guys can use this a little bit better, and then I want to darken this a whole lot more and contrast it so you can actually see these objects. Right here, goes like this, down, goes across, comes down, goes like this here. There's actually a split right here, and you can see what looks like these multi-layered little pieces. Now, just underneath it, look right here will look like little 
boxes, if you will, going like this, underneath this other piece. And it looks like it has this little black dot way in the back, and it kind of comes down like this here. There's another one here, doing this here. And it looks like it goes off into the back underneath this other piece. Well, wait a minute. This is a flat shale, right? It's nothing more than flat rock. So why are we seeing stuff that looks like it's elevated? Now I'm going to back out a little bit. Okay, sharpened it up a hair bit. Now ch check this out with your magnifiers and have a look at that area I just showed you. It suddenly, it suddenly looks like it has a different level to it altogether. There's objects in there. Now don't get me wrong. You're going to have some compression marks in here. So not everything is either a rock or some kind of other object, right? But if you look at this, especially the area I just showed you right in here, there's like multi-level things that are, some of them are underneath other things. Now, and if it's rocks, well, wait a minute. Just a minute ago, everything looked flat and it didn't look like there's any layer of anything. So what gives, right? Okay, so let's, let's jump out of this, back out of it. And guess what, guys? Check this out. In the background, you can see this object, it started off like this here, and I showed you guys that. But check this out. You got these objects coming down, going across. It drops back down, and there you go. Looks pretty decent right there. And again, if we zoom in, uh, you're going to have a problem seeing this stuff. It's really going to break apart. Now, I can look at any part of these white things right here, and guess what? I can see what looks like sectioned off pieces. I can see what looks like objects. Whatever the hell these things are, especially back here. Guys. Now, look at these things right here in the left-hand side. I'm going to circle it in black here right there look at these objects where they clearly do not look like a flat rock i can see these things and they're like boom right there in your face now let me show you the completed version of this and i filter it and everything else and check that out i'm going to just zoom in just a little bit and you guys can pause this any way you like okay just have a look at these and, and the ground here, which, like I said, it gives you this illusion that it's nothing more than just rock and flat rock. Well, again, we can see all of this manipulation in between this. You can see that. Look at it. And you can see this area right here. We can see it quite well where you've got this white piece sticking out. Well, it looks like a little dot right there. And then the rest of it is completely manipulated out. Okay. We can drop back to it and look at the manipulation right here, guys. Again, it's trying to give the illusion that this stuff is actually flat. There's nothing there. By taking out the contrast here. So in other words, let's say there's a raised rock. Let's call it a rock. I don't care. Call it a raised rock. And it's got like this, and you can see the siding of it. Well, you won't be able to see it sided because there's no shadow to it. So therefore, you don't see the face of the rock. So therefore, it looks flat. Nothing more than a shale, like a flat shale kind of rock, right? That's not true. There's so much more in this photo you just have to bring it out. And what I'm going to do for you guys, I just opened up Mars Anomaly's Flickr page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dropping these in there for you guys so you guys can analyze this better. We used to have Google+, Plus, right? But then they did away with it. So we no longer can do that. And that kind of sucks because we I had a bunch of photos up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dropping these up here so you guys can have a better look. So I've got the original one here, as you can see. And I'm going to drop the other one right next to it so you guys can do the comparison. Of course, you guys will know you get the link to the NASA link as well as any other link that I use, you know, I always supply those anyway. So you can get this link. I'm going to drop the links to the photos anyway, or to the Flickr page. You can see it up here. Um, and you guys can have a look. So now what we'll do is I'm going to show you this one more time. And guys, like I said, this is not a simple flat area. It has objects sitting right in front of this rover. And I'm almost, oh man, I'm almost to the impression that there's actually either busted up pieces from, A, from a, a larger object, or these are actually small, tiny, little, you know, buildings, structures of some sort. And if you think about it, this rover is not that big at all. If you were standing here, and this is what's really puzzling, if you were standing here, you can see the mast right here. Let's go ahead and use the yellow one on this. You can see the mast area right here, and you can see I'm going to circle it right there. You can see the actual mast right here, as well as the camera head right here. And you would, if you were standing here, you'd be towering over this thing. You'd be like your waist would probably be right around right where this antenna is. If not, maybe a hair bit higher or lower. It doesn't really matter. But you would tower over this rover. So how big are these objects? That's what's puzzling. 
So I have, my, I have a problem wrapping my head around the idea that it could be structures, but that doesn't mean they're not. Of course, you guys can give me your take on it because, like I said, when this video is done, I'm going to go ahead and upload this finished version of it, and I'll, uh, maybe I'll break it down into sections. You guys can have a look, like a right and left section. Again, use your magnifiers and then tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Now, I got some more photos coming up. I got some uh, uh, moon photos that were submitted to me, uh, some that were enhanced, and then some that were not. Okay, and then people just ask me, hey, can you uh, enhance this a little further or can you enhance this at all? And I also have a Mars Gigapen, which is also coming up real soon. In fact, yeah, within maybe a day or two tops. So um, maybe uh, just on Monday. So we're going to try to knock that out for you as well. Anyway, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, like and share the video. As always, got to get these videos out so people can see this stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.